one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is an absolutely beautiful 1977 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. And this is a one owner car, and it's only got what I believe to be 28,000 original miles on it. This car is absolutely beautiful in every way. Um, I'm gonna do a quick once around and kinda give you the once around. And then I'll go up close and show you any minor flaws, damages, or stuff like that. Um, it's a windy day out. And I'm going to try and get you a, a shiny, bright sun view. And a nice, shadowy, darker view, I guess you'd say. Uh, my shadow becomes a problem for that. But this car is just absolutely beautiful. And look at the, the back things are still in there. Oh, man! in great shape everybody looks at this car I've had to beat people off a stick to take pictures beat, beat people off a stick off with a stick I didn't have a stick with me but Nathan 406-544-6919 you can reach me absolutely anytime um, I don't know how I'll clip all this together I'm gonna do a once around here like this like I just did and then we'll show you up close and I'll end up going for another test drive with you here and go up the road and then I'll show you it in a different area also um, before my shadows catch up on me I'm gonna show you underneath right away and oneownercarguy.com is my website <clears throat> this is in great shape under here you can see they crawl under here for a... okay first off let's start here nice newer that's been redone patina where you had some paint come off from rock chips. All that, it's in great shape. Um, look at that, man. Clean, and it rides like it, too. It really does. Somebody did some upkeep on this car. Um, all your rubber going around the bumpers, look at this. Just absolutely beautiful. These tires are a USA Classic steel belted radial. It's got the right caps and all. Still got these pieces on it and everything. The plastic in here is just absolutely beautiful. I hope you can see that. Um, let me show you underneath. Going down the side is just beautiful. Clean as can be. Still got factory rubberized undercoating on it. Your tranny pan and everything. Just clean as can be. That's all there is to it. This car is clean. Clean! It's the king of clean. It is too. Look at that straight back quarter. These are the pieces I was talking about that always blow out. Um, okay, that's your underneath. And I should be able to... Ooh, it's got some nice big old shocks on it, man. Should be able to show you the sunny side and the shady side. A pine cone? I wasn't there. Somebody threw a pine cone at me. Okay, well, my shadow's in the car. And the car is a star, man. It is beautiful. If you're interested, you can call me, Nathan, 406-544-6919. Serial Marshmallows is the channel here. And I'm gonna go down this car and show you the sides of it. And then we'll go back down it and kinda show you any damage. But just absolutely beautiful. Over the top of the trunk here. As nice as it gets, all the chrome beautiful. I'd like to show you there's a small crack in it right there and right here. Uh, it's a California car, that's my plate. Um, small little scratchy type things in the bumper. It's beautiful. Um, I think a pinstripe has been added. There's a clip missing on this to clip it down, and you could just do something to it, but a little clip is very cheap to get on that. This top is in great condition. I think they use eel skin in these years. I'm not sure, I don't remember. I read somewhere, and I don't know what year they stopped doing that. Beautiful with that top on it. Um, I'm gonna try and stay on track here. All your chrome trim, just positively beautiful. Lenses in great shape. Going down the sides here, Little scratch kind of thing right there. A little bit of wax on it right there. Just clean as can be. Look at that. Original rubbers. 
couple stress cracks right there. And this here is missing the same clip on it. But see, not all rusted out or nothing. It's in beautiful shape. Now, as far as dings go, there's a thing right here. There might be someone that I'm, some, there's a little stress cracks right there in the paint. Uh, there might be a ding I miss or something, but man, tiny crack right there. And I think the paint's original. If not, they sure did a dang good job. Um, look at that roof. Just amazing. It, it's had to have been, wait until you see under the hood. A little dink in it. And the way I say it has to be, I mean, it's a five digit. It was an estate type deal. And, um, I'm trying to show you a little tiny bend there. A little scratch right there. This color's amazing. Little boy, baby blue. He lightly scuffed something right there, just ever so lightly, and rolled that piece back just a tiny bit. Look at that, man. Rubber's on both sides. This thing is tight as can be. Um, small little mark on your rock chip on your lens there. That chrome's beautiful, man. Going across the hood, just beautiful. That hood ornament, just amazingly beautiful. Look at that. I gotta get a picture. Or two or three, right? OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Couple stress cracks right here. That's the worst of them on it. Small one here. Hey, there's a bug on my car. Get off of there. A couple of small rock chips. Chrome's in great shape. Perfect? No! Come on! It's as old as I am. Almost. And this... Yeah, this can be cleaned up. It's just rubber that's not... Cleaned up. A couple little marks here that he touched up. Took the time to touch up. Cool stuff. It's an older, different kind of paint, man. I think it's all original. It sure is beautiful. Straight as can be. It's a ding right here and here, a tiny one there. A couple dings there. A chip, a little ding, a little scratch, a tiny scratchy chip. Chip, if I didn't show you that one, I did. A little crack, stress cracks right there by the trim. Um, <laughs> I'm done. That's all there is to show you on it. Oh, I see a ding. Just a tiny ding right there. Tiny? What the heck is tiny? Well, I don't know. It's that ding. That's what it is. Wheel well trim and everything. Oh man, this car is beautiful. If you're looking for one of these, stop it. Call me. 406-544-6919. Nathan. And that's kind of your outside walk around once around. That's the underneath. And I hate how the shadows block half the car, but it'll give you kind of a good half and half idea. And I'm gonna go up and take some, actually I'll probably just back it up and do it right here. Let's do this. Show you the interior right here. Why not? It's absolutely beautiful. Get you out of the... And this thing starts up so nice. It runs so nice. Just beautifully. Get this thing out of the sun. This thing is caddy, baby. AC blows real cool, but it is not ice, ice, ice cold. That's beautiful. This thing starts and runs just as nice as it can. Uh, it's just beautiful. See as much I do to this thing except drive it. Drive it! Look at this. Door panels are beautiful. These seals, just amazing. And this, it's still even got the rubber strap for the water. It's still attached to the bottom of the door panel there. 
Um, this is just beautiful. This will got a little bit of water type stuff on it. Um, I don't know if they had the anything done to the rugs. Um, it, look at this. Just no stinking wear on the pedals besides my wear. Um, I don't know if they did anything to anything on this car. If they did, it was all the utmost quality, it seems. I'm gonna show you this here seat. And it's not all torn up, but you get a little bit of fold over, as I like to call it, just creasing from over the years. And it's not all tore up at all. Little, little. There you go, there's a little hole, there's two, kinda. And there. That's all there is bad to say about it, even on this pieces. If you wanted, ow, I hit my head on the door. <laughs> if you wanted, I could have the, the whole tops of it replaced. Um, very cheap, too. Small little piece right there. Look at all that room, man. Ooh, buddy. There's some room. And the headliner. Oh, I want to talk about the headliner. Yes, sir. It's falling a little bit. And it depends on the weather. Um, sometimes it totally does not fall at all. It don't fall at all. And sometimes it just kind of loosens up. I can get it fixed for you. It's about 100 and a quarter to 150. I hit myself in the leg with that so dang hard, it's gonna draw blood. Sure is, man. Look at that. Ouch. I was swinging it shut good and proper, too. Right here, there's some little marks. Like someone was trying to break in. I'm gonna do another walk around in the shadowy part before it gets too shadowy, where you can see this car in this kind of a light. It's just beautiful and it drives great so much power so much power no joke so that's kind of a a dark around we'll call it and I'm gonna have to shut this off after the interior to where I can show and take my pictures and then we'll do a test drive back to the house and show a little bit more for the heck of it I hate when I get these keys from people that work for me and there's three or four sets of keys on one ring. It makes me sick. Sick! It's just asking for it to be lost. All the lights work. It's beautiful, okay? Um, you know, that should probably... I'm gonna set this down. I'll bet you this spins up in this year. Almost positive. Oh, there's a little factory clip or something. Is it this one? This has a little clip on it here, and I don't know exactly how this works. And they didn't box it in, so I'm gonna flip this up. Kind of a mat they've got in there. It's in great shape. The car is in great shape. Oh God, that'll scare me every time. Makes me think I locked my keys in there. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. I have to get in and show the cockpit shot. This will be your view. Yes, sir. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Make sure and share my videos. Um, I know a lot of you are members in little groups and things, because I'm a member of some of them same groups. Some of them ain't so little. But, you know, this is just up just a tad. I want to show you that. And this one is just down just a tad. A little adjustment, maybe. Um, show you under the hood. And then I'm going to take some pictures. And we'll give you a test drive on the way home. Oh! And options. This thing is falling down in here just a little bit. And we were gonna get it jammed up in there. As you can see, we did not. And it's because that piece right there is cracked. Cheap piece to get. But it is like it is, and I wanna be up front with you and let you know that. Um, okay, <laughs> it's gonna slide right off there. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And you know, the, you could honestly do whatever you want. It's a four and quarter. And you could paint that up black if you want. 
But that's how it is now. And just over the years, that's how it's became. Well, that's how I'm leaving it because I'm not gonna um, change that and put paint over it for you. If you wanted me to, sure, no problem. But the originality of that is just awesome if you ask me. Um, in fact, I'd get that and glue it back on. It's got all kinds of stickers on. Look at this, man, just clean as can be. I really believe the miles at 28,000. All your, everything's just clean as can be. It's a four and a quarter. And that's pretty much the outside and everything. The under the hood and the inside. It's a walk around. Um, I've got a green one on my channel too. You can check it out. Uh, still got the hood liner and everything. Uh, this one's cleaner than the green one. But you know, there's a little piece of wood underneath there. I don't know what it's for. Oh, yes I do. I'll bet you it was under there to make that side come up just a little notch. Little old guy put that under there. I almost guarantee you that. I'll show maybe when we get back up there. Well, one owner car guy. And that's the car. And I'm going to take and take it back up to the house and I'll show you some more on the test drive. Talk to you in a second. Well, I was looking under the hood again and I had to show you. Brand new brake booster on it. Uh, I'm brake booster. Master cylinder. Um, this is just nice as it gets here, this piece. And Mark Judd there, Big L and Nick or Big Crow Fly. Is this piece factory, man? I mean, I know it's factory, but is it factory for this little smog canister, vapor canister thing? Or it looks almost like a battery setup. But that's how clean it is, and that's why I believe the 28,000 on it um, is different things like that. It's just so damn clean, and it wouldn't be that clean if it wasn't this many miles. I mean, that's just all there is to it. Well, I'm going to clip this in somewhere, and I just figured I'd show you that. Thanks for watching, and that's about all I know. Look at how nice the plastic is and stuff one owner car guy .com. well i'm back at you and you know before i forget about it i'm gonna look at what i was asking about look at what i was asking about huh <laughs> i'm pumping it to get this thing done man i want to show you everything get the test drive before it gets dark this here see it's kind of stuck it's kind of sticky on the bottom i think it was over here it seems to fit right there really good so I don't know why he had it on there or what, but it's just a block just sitting there. I left it there. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to show you this chrome here again. One owner car guy, and we're going on a test drive back up to my place there. And, you know, I guess when I do it like this, it's only a one-way test drive, isn't it? And I want to show you a couple cracks in the dash. I think I can replace that top dash plan. If you wanted little tiny ones. It's all even. The guy could put a dash mat on it and it would be pretty good also. These door panels are in beautiful shape. The leathers are in beautiful shape. Um, God, I hate having no water keys like that. I know I already said that. Watch this. It's got your dummy lights up there too. I don't know why I'm showing you that. There's no tachometer, but nice. You gotta love a Cadillac horn. This thing will roast them. You gotta be careful. You can almost miss them little bitty speed bumps. I'm gonna make it a longer test drive for us. Now, this, here, I'll show you that before we get to away and yes it's a low mileage well-maintained car however I didn't want to do that I only put the foot feet down a little bit however you're gonna replace something over time I don't know how long something can go out on you the first day when you get it can I get pick this up and drive it to Florida well you could um, and this one would sure make me think about doing something like that um, I bought a 59 Eldo convertible in Evansville, Indiana. Flew into Louisville, Kentucky to pick it up. And me and my dad were going to do it. We were all for it. We were taking it all the way home. We were, yeah, man. Parked in the hotel parking lot, burn up the points. Well, it's a stupid little thing. 
but it made us consider, did we want, really want to look for a, a hose or a belt for a 59 Caddy in the middle of Oklahoma or something? Well, no, we didn't. So we didn't drive it. Um, it is cheaper just to ship these things. Um, if you do pick it up in California, um, I'll be glad to help you out with whatever you need. Uh, beautiful car. And I've got lots of cars on my site, oneownercarguy.com. I got lots of miniature beagles on my other website, and that's beaglespocket.com. Now, you know, it's got this white weather, white weather, white leather. It's not even white, my goodness. It's got this tan leather wrapped around the wheel. And, um, yeah. I don't know if the old guy stitched it on there or. I don't know if it came with it. I don't think it came with it. I think that's added on. I've noticed that that clock does not work. It's not turning. Uh, radio works. All that good stuff. And I'm almost back up to the place here. And I'll tell you what. The upshift and the downshift on this car is so nice. And it rides so smooth. And it is so clean. Whoa, that's just barely. You get that weight up off that tire, man, and it goes. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little bit of that goes right here. Let's do this. Just nice as can be. And we'll go back down this way as well for the heck of it. giving it too much juice after I've went whoa that's one way you know especially if I squeal them on accident and this is an easy one to squeal on accident with yeah you let off and the whole car kind of breathes or something <laughs> it's a large car but it's a lot of power baby 425 what is that uh seven point one, six point nine to seven one somewhere? I don't know, it's somewhere in there. Not figuring leaders, just doing the cubes, doing the cubes. Yeah, it's, it's powerful and it's responsive. It drives like it should, it steers like it should. And it, you know what? It almost rides like a damn Cadillac, I'll tell you. One owner car guy. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment. I do lots of classic cars, and not only that, I'll throw up some extra, extracurricular type stuff. Uh, hot rods I find, or God, who knows, a fire truck? I've done them. I submit uh, a concrete truck. I've done that. And travel. I keep wanting to show you down for the uh, tachometer, but there's no tachometer. And also on this one, when you um, put your brake on, watch this. <laughs> all works like it should, man. It all works like it should. The straps and everything is just so clean. So, so clean. Um, can't think of anything else to show you, to tell you, or anything like that. Got to give it a good close when you give it a good close. And this is my normal spot where I take these videos. And I'm going to kind of show you the ending of it here and just kind of do the final walk around. Then I'll give you a ride back to the house and call it good. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. This is a beautiful Cadillac. And you know, you feel just special driving this thing around. It don't look like nothing else on the road. That's all there is to say about it. It does not look like nothing else on the road. And I had a buddy go, man, put some big wheels under that. No! Just leave it the way it is. It's beautiful the way it is. And this thing will only rise in value. Cool car. And God. Well, that's that. And uh, pretty much that's the deal. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Uh, and I wanted to show you this window here. Little marks on it. I didn't scrape them off. I want to take it back up to the house here. Might as well give you a a little bit more of a test drive. Yep, 
You don't want to put too much foot on it. Just the tiniest amount of foot pedal and buddy, you're off. Off like a prom dress, I'll tell you. Ah, big old big body bends coming up. Uh, Yukon coming up. Volvo 242DL coming up. Ooh, we got all kinds of stuff coming up here. Seriously. So subscribe, like, comment. I love talking to people on here. It's pretty much most of the fun of YouTube is, for me, I like making the movies, but I sure like talking to people and meeting people, new people, and catching up with people that I haven't talked to in a while. So comment, subscribe, share my video. I really appreciate if you share my video. It really helps me out and adds to my, my whole little deal there. Um, on Facebook, wherever, add me on Facebook. I have a page, it's one on our car guy. But I also got my regular one, is Cereal Marshmallows, and you can add me there too, my personal one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And import, export, I'll ship it right to your port. That's all I know. Look at them beautiful white walls and the caps and stuff. Oh, man! Well, I was just finishing up One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com, and I realized that I didn't show you a couple options that I wanted to show you. And... I'll tell you. Number one, the seat. Oops, I dropped it almost. Forward, backward, up, wait, wait. Up in the back, down in the back, up in the front, down in the front. So that's that. These windows, I'll tell you what. Here's the locks. That one ain't working over there. This one works. Look how fast that window is. I really believe in Miles. Look at that. The fastest windows on the block, buddy. I want to do that a couple more times. It's just awesome. So, gotta love the caddy for it. If you don't, buy a Kia. K -k -k Kia. Well, there's some more chrome for you. A couple dings in it there. It's absolutely beautiful. All the plastic and everything, all the lights. It's in great shape. I've showed you every which way I can imagine on this car. And if you've got any questions, it's Nathan, 406-544-6919. Gonna show you these here rubber pieces again. Oh, man! You'll be hard-pressed to find a Caddy anywhere near this clean. Anywhere. Even in the year 2000. So, that's all there is to it. Um, got somebody who needs Caddies and you want a Mercedes? I got you covered there too. You're not a caddy person, you're a Volvo person. You know, whatever you want. Whatever your taste, you just give me a call, I'll take care of you. Check my website, couple hundred cars on there, and on the channel here, there's 1, 1,280 videos or something, and lots of cool stuff. Subscribe, comment, like, share, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you.